Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about the uh, re.match function and properly dealing with its return value when working with typing in Python. Uh, this was a question that was asked on stream and I figured I'd follow up and give it a proper video. So let's jump into that. Okay, so to get started, let's just make a virtual environment. I'm going to install MyPy, which is the type checker we're dealing with. I'll link the original MyPy video that I did in the description if you want to check that out. Let's install MyPy. And we're going to make a small little Python script here. Oops, that's the Python script from the last video. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we're going to make a pattern. re.compile, I don't know, just for, for example. And uh, when we use this pattern to try and match a string, so you know this is the regular expression module. I also did a regex video. I'll try and remember to link that one in the description as well, although I'll probably forget that one. So comment if I forgot that video. <laughs> um, but anyway, if you uh, get a match object out of this, you can say match equals pattern dot match, I don't know, food, for example. Uh, and we look at what type we got here, reveal type match. Uh, you'll see that we get, uh, you'll see that we get this union typing dot match stir of none. And this is, um, you know, a, <laughs> a optional none. So it has this none type. And if we were to try and access something on this, so for example, if we wanted to print match dot group, uh, mypy will tell us that, uh, you know, that none does not have an attribute group. And so, uh, you know, that's that's a problem and we probably want to actually use this value in our code. So it's, you know, it's important for us to fix this. And I'm going to show you three different ways that we can approach fixing this. Um, and we're going to assume here that we know as the programmer that this will always match and that there's not going to ever be a case where this doesn't match. Um, if you're in If you're in a situation where, you know, Sometimes it would match, sometimes it wouldn't match. It's going to be useful to check the return value. And uh, I guess that's our first first solution to this problem, which is to actually check the return value and have an error case in that case. So if we had, you know, if match is none, we would say, you know, raise assertion error. This should have matched. Why didn't it? Oops, and we need double quotes so that this works. Um, and so this is kind of the... The first solution to this problem, which is to explicitly, you know, check the return value and narrow the type so that it's, you know, not none. Um, and MyPy is smart enough to know that this branch will always be none and this branch will always not be none. So that's solution one. Um, let's actually, you know, solution one. We'll put these in separate functions so you can see them all. Uh, explicitly check the return type. Um, <clears throat> let's do solution two next. So solution two, uh, we're going to use a similar approach to this one, except instead of explicitly checking the return type, we're going to use an assert statement. And this will convince MyPy that this particular thing that we're asserting is true. So we can say assert that match is not none. Um, and you know, if this assertion fails, we'll get an assertion error while we're working in uh, not optimized mode of Python, which is the normal mode that Python always runs in, and print match dot group here, and you can see. Oh, we actually have to type these so that MyPy will type check them. So we're gonna arrow none here just to make sure that it, it types those. Um, and you'll see here that this assert statement convinced MyPy that match is not none, and so that this group attribute is valid. Um, just run these two down here so that we can actually see the program working because I it's usually an important part of this but yeah you can see that um, we we match that properly here the third way uh, and these are roughly in order of the way that I would prefer to solve this um, I usually try and avoid the waves that I'm going to show <laughs> onwards I guess um, the third way is going to be a type narrowing function. So I'm going to make a particularly uh, a particular function which is going to take in an optional type and make sure that it's you know not none and then return the type that's no longer optional. So we're going to strip the optional part of it. Um, require non none. 
And we're actually going to do this with a type variable from typing import optional. So I'm going to make this function generic so it's not specific to uh, not specific to the case that we're dealing with right now. And so we need to make a type fair. And we're going to say that x is an optional t, and we're going to return a t. So this is just saying, you know, strip whatever optional you have here and return the actual value here. And so you can say if x is none, raise assertion error, expected non none. And otherwise, we can just return x. So again, this is the same narrowing that we did before. It's basically the same if statement here, but we're going to do it in a function this time. And so now we can say match equals require non none re dot match or, or it was pattern dot match pattern dot match food and you know print match dot group. You know, I actually kind of like this one a little bit more than the first two solutions. So maybe they're not in any particular order. <laughs> Uh, all I know is that I'm not going to like the fourth solution that we're going to talk about. So you can see here that this continues to run, and if we mypy check this as well, uh, you'll see that mypy is happy with this. So this is a, a, a type variable. I'll probably go over type variables in some other video. I haven't done that yet. They're a little bit more advanced than, than just that. Uh, and let's talk about the last solution. The last solution is convincing mypy by using a cast from typing, from typing import cast. Uh, cast is a typing function which tells MyPy or whatever type checker, you know, pretend this is the actual type that we got here. Um, it's similar to the idea in like C-like languages where a cast says, no, no, trust me, compiler. I know what I'm doing. It's actually this type. Oh, that's not how you spell for. <clears throat> and so we have a similar thing to this here. Instead of require non none, we're going to do a cast here, and we're going to cast this as uh, I believe it's what was it match? Yeah, match of stir. So we're saying mypy pretend like the return value of this is match stir. We also have to import match stir from typing import match, and uh, we'll also call this down here solution four just to show that. You know, it works at runtime, and MyPy is convinced that this is a, a match, match of stir. But anyway, those are our four solutions to this problem here. Um, I, I tend to like this one a lot, and this one a lot. I'll also use this one as well. And um, I don't know, I don't really like to use casts unless there's a bug in MyPy, because this is, this is turning off one of the features of the type checker for you. But anyway, hopefully this was helpful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.